several years ago, Pablo Picasso said, Good artists copy. Great artists. Steal. Don't worry. He wasn't talking literally. What Picasso meant, is that inspiration usually came out from things, that already exist. And this bike, is no exception. It wasn't inspired, in some old cafe racer. In fact, the spark of this machine, came out from the same source, of the first cafe racers. An extraordinary machine, with more than 60 years. The remarkable BMW RS54. Welcome to Racer TV. The first time I saw this project, I need a few seconds to realize, that this was based in the R90. If we forget the disc brakes, and the mono swing arm, it really appears to be something very old. And this, is what I most appreciate, in this BMW. They really achieved, the right retro flavor. And when I say they, I'm referring to these guys. Five friends, that used an old house in Las Bezières, making part of a Ficine Spronetti. This Italian custom builder, was the lucky one, when BMW Italia, invited them to participate, in a build-off using the R90. According to Judy Basso, the project had to start, with an important historical BMW motorcycle. And the BMW RS54 N Sport, was their choice. It was one of the first racing motorcycles, to come out of Germany in the post-war period. Spirit of Zella, is the name that was given to this remarkable project. And why? Because Walter Zeller, was the pilot who took the RS-54 to second place, in the 1956 500cc World Championship. And nothing would be more fair, than creating this modern interpretation, of a good old racing machine. What a beautiful inspiration. Now I understand, why Picasso said that great artists steal. This can sound easy, but only a few have the ability, of stealing the essence, of something. But we can always try. Isn't it? I know that some of you, going to ask by the headlights, but I think it's possible to install them, in a very discreet way. And please, be careful. Because things gonna get a little loud. Perhaps you will prefer, even louder.
Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.